Hi, hey, so what's up? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I'm wearing the only shirt I own, and I'm holding this guitar body, which means another... So this is episode five of the Telethrasher series, the series where I take a DIY stock guitar kit and build it into my ultimate metal weapon. In previous episodes, I modded this guitar for some easier wire management, added binding, and in the last episode, drilled it for string through. And that means that we only have one thing left to do with this body, and that's to finish it. And that's what's happening in this episode today. I will be applying a nice Danish oil finish to this, just to get a nice natural look to this wood, darken it up a little bit, and give it some good contrast with that black binding. And just, it'll be nice and classy, but also metal as well. So, enough talking about it. Let's get to doing it. Let's go. Okay, so I just went out to the garage and it is winter, so it's cold as f out there. So while that heats up, I'm just going to do the first step of finishing this body here, which is applying some wood filler to fin fill up some uh, small blemishes and some holes that aren't going to be used anymore. So let's do it. So I'm just using this DAP plastic wood all-purpose filler. And you just take a bit, put it in the areas you need. It's a nice thin layer. So I'm just kind of dabbing it on and then I'll go and smooth it out. This part will be under the bridge, so it's not crazy important to have it perfect, but you just wanna make sure you get good coverage nonetheless. And here I have a good blemish as well. Get that filled in pretty good. Not perfect, but it'll do the job. Come back in a few hours and sand this off and it should be looking good. Okay, made up to the garage and the wood filler is dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sand that nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna sand the entire body down, starting with 100 grit and working my way up to 320 grit in preparation for applying the Danish oil. Okay, so now that this is really nice and glassy smooth, feels real good, we need to scrape the sides and the top of the, where the binding is so that it has a nice shiny appearance again instead of the dull sanded look. And to do that, I'm using this large rectangular scraper from Stu Mac, and the link for this is in the description. Let's get scraping. So for this process, you can see how dull this looks. You just take that scraper, Put it down, put it about a 45, 60 degree angle or so. Presses your thumbs the inside like here. And push. And just repeat until that binding starts to scrape a thin layer off. Like it is, and you can see starting to get that shininess back. Kind of a tedious process. Just do it all the way around, and then we'll get to the top. Just the same process, but quicker and easier. And there you have it. Nice and silky smooth. With nice refreshed binding. Looking really sick. So here you have the body. I've cleaned it off with mineral spirits and it's had a chance to dry and it's ready to take a finish. So as I mentioned earlier, I'm using a natural colored Danish oil, but before I apply the Danish oil, I'm gonna be using a pre-stain wood conditioner. Now wood conditioners are used to help stains and oils um, just spread really uniformly and evenly and not leave a blotchiness or um, patchiness to the finished job. And wood conditioners are typically really used for soft woods. And alder, while technically is a hardwood, it's among the softer side of the hardwoods, one of the softest hardwoods, if I am correct in that. So I'm just not gonna take any chances. I'm just gonna condition it. So before applying the wood conditioner, I just wanna make sure everything is thoroughly stirred. And then to actually apply it, you're gonna use a lint-free cloth and you're gonna wipe across the grain of the guitar until it's very, very saturated. 
and then once you have that nice coating and it's good and saturated, you just wipe the excess dry with the grain this time. And you wanna make sure that the wood conditioner does not uh, dry before wiping the excess. And from there, you just let the wood conditioner penetrate for 30 minutes before applying Danish oil. Okay, so now I've allowed over 30 minutes for the wood conditioner to penetrate, and it is time to apply the Danish oil. Before actually applying the Danish oil, you just wanna make sure to shake the container thoroughly. And then for the actual application, you're gonna use a lint-free rag once again, and you're gonna just flood the surface of the guitar with the oil. And once you have a nice, even coat, it's not too runny, looks like everything is covered well, you're just gonna allow that to penetrate for 15 minutes. After that 15 minutes, you can just reapply, allowing another 15 minutes of penetration, and then wipe the surface completely dry, and, and let it sit for eight to 10 hours, and check to see if you wanna do any more coats, or if you're happy with it. All right, so it's the next day. Here's the guitar body, and it's looking pretty killer. I'm gonna put another couple coats of Danish oil on it and go from there. Let's do this. Okay, so after four coats of the Danish oil, that's how it's looking, looking pretty good. However, there's some rough edges on here where it feels like the grain raised up because I didn't do any sanding between coats or sand the oil in. So I need to take care of that, but I don't really want to use sandpaper. It's a little too abrasive for what I'm looking for, and I don't want to refinish this binding. Maybe just being a little lazy. But I've got a crafty little nifty trick for that. Let's check it out. So for this neat little hack here, anywhere that the grain raised and caused a rough edge, you can't really see in the video, but you can feel it. All you're gonna do is take craft paper or brown paper bags from like the grocery store, Fold it up, and you're just gonna rub it on those rough areas. Until it's nice and smooth, which that already smoothed out a lot there. And you, and you just do it for the entire body, wherever you feel that, and you, you're not getting all those sanding paper scratches and just cleaning it up, because it's just a little bit of roughness there. It just makes it like glass without using sandpaper. So pretty cool deal. I'm gonna finish this up and apply a polyurethane protective cover. Okay, I'm up in the garage. I've got the guitar hanging and we're ready to apply a wipe on poly. This is Minwax wipe on poly in a clear satin because I don't want it to be super glossy here. And it applies a lot like the Danish oil. So wipe on poly is just a durable clear finish to put over a, a top coat like this Danish oil to just give it some improved protection and, and longevity. And all you need to do is to again, use a clean, soft, lint-free cloth and apply a little amount of the wipe on poly to it and rub it into the wood. Then you just let it dry for two to three hours and check it for tackiness. And if there's no tackiness, you can apply another coat and you can do some sanding in between if you want. And then once you have a second or even a third coat applied, then you just allow 24 hours to dry before any light use and longer for even more curing. So after four coats of the wipe on poly, I just let the guitar sit for a little over 24 hours to cure. And then when I came to take a look at it, gotta say it was looking killer. It, the finish on it was a little bit rough, and that's to be expected with anything, whether you're using poly or clear coat or whatever it may be. As the finish settles in, you just get peaks and valleys, so it feels rough to the hand. All you have to do is level sand it or level buff it, and I just went back and used the craft paper technique again and level buffed it out, and this is how it's looking. So there you have it. The Telethrasher body is all finished and ready for the next steps. I really hope you enjoyed this video, maybe learned a thing or two, but the point of this video wasn't to be a super detailed tutorial or how-to on finishing a guitar body, and there's like a thousand ways to do it, and they're all right, and they're all probably wrong at the same time. If you want really good detailed information on finishing guitar bodies, I highly suggest checking out Highline Guitar's YouTube channel. 
link up here, link in the description. You know the drill. So anyway, thank you so much for coming along with me on the journey finishing this. I hope you stick around for more episodes of the Telethrasher series where I'm turning this into my ultimate metal weapon. Next video is going to be focused on getting the neck prepped and installed. And then after that, it's just put the damn thing together and get to shredding on it. So I hope you hit that subscribe button, maybe even that bell notification so you don't miss more of the Telethrasher build series. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We need to finish this out right with some motherfucking metal. Yeah.